Hey guys, good Tuesday morning, and thank you for checking out your latest Wisconsin local video forecast update. This is Kirk Ensbam, weather meteorologist here recording this video just about 8.45 a.m. Central Time here this morning. Hoping you guys are doing well. Let's just jump right into things. We can see the ongoing locally heavy showers and storms up here across the north central part of the state and that will continue to work its way east and southeast as we go deeper into the day today and into the overnight into tomorrow morning and some of this will be locally strong to severe in nature as well as excessively heavy in the rainfall this is a look at our day one severe weather risk here now again the further east the location the more that that's into tomorrow in terms of that risk but the further south and west the location the more strong to severe storms are going to be on the table as we go deeper into the day here today and this is a look at our day one excessive rainfall risk out here as well again the western half of the state for today into tomorrow morning the better risk uh, with the enhanced low level jet stream pumping in uh, additional moisture in here as, as we go forward so let's take a look and you can see the timestamp up here 12 p.m central in terms of the simulated radar guidance here and i'm going to take this forward going forward now so 1 p.m 2 p.m 3 p.m 4 p.m 5 p.m we are still continuing to work this moisture up here towards Eau Claire and north of Wausau areas here. And we're not even going to work our way towards Stevens Point and La Crosse until we're getting to about 6 to 7 p.m. tonight. Again, guys, these can be locally strong in nature. We're talking damaging winds, large hail, and isolated tornadoes going to be possible, especially after 5 to 6 p.m. here tonight. Tack on a couple more hours. This is as we are getting 9 to 10 o'clock, making our way to Green Bay, Oshkosh, Madison, uh, these areas down here as well in south and western parts of Wisconsin. Tack on a couple more hours. We are kind of oriented more west to east. You can see kind of the excessive rainfall nature of things. When you're more oriented west to east, this is where the rain can get quite heavy up here between Madison and Oshkosh and uh, near, near the areas of Baraboo and towards Sheboygan during this hour here as well. Quite unsettled. And that's generally, you, you can see just continued west east natured storms all the way here from like Dubuque to Madison to Sheboygan. Very locally heavy in this time frame here as well. 7 a.m. It's still situated uh, all the way east to Janesville, north of Milwaukee, all the way to Sheboygan. Still situated west east in these same locations. We see a let up from 8 to 9 o'clock into tomorrow morning. And then things become rather scattered into tomorrow afternoon. I'll touch on that here in a second. But just through tomorrow morning, guys, again, you can see the modeling trying to pinpoint you know there's some areas in here that that may get two to three four inches of rain locally in some spots and you can see it kind of try to hint at a couple specific areas here as well i i think three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half for a lot of locations that get under one of these strong to severe storms going to be on the table with localized higher totals possible here as we go forward so before we touch on the forecast into deeper in tomorrow, this is a look at our high temperatures today. Again, we're going to be moderated a bit by precipitation here, but still working our way into the mid 80s here across the south central southern part of the state. And as we're going to tomorrow with all of that precipitation around, we could be talking about more temperatures in the 70s versus 80s. And then we do see a rebound on Thursday into the low to mid 80s here. And then I definitely see a rebound in the mid to upper 80s by Friday. So let's talk about the forecast here as we do go forward, guys. Again, deeper into the day on Wednesday, I think there can be persistent storm sh uh, storms and showers here, especially from Green Bay to Oshkosh to Madison most of the day on Wednesday into the afternoon and evening. This is going to subside uh, after about midnight here. And then we go into a drier pattern. Thursday, we see a dry forecast here. There can be an isolated uh, isolated afternoon storm from about 2 to 6 p.m. near the Sheboygan uh, Oshkosh area here as well, but relatively dry, way drier than the next 36 hours. And as we're going into Friday, I think we end the work week dry and warmer on Friday. And Saturday to Sunday is interesting because we have a storm cluster that I think north central northern Wisconsin gets under that, but most locations further down to the south are going to be rather dry. But as we go deeper into the day on Saturday, into the evening and overnight, you can see a very potent storm cluster that we need to watch closely here. I think this can bring, bring some damaging winds and some excessive rains into Sunday morning here as well. And you can see even deeper into the day on Sunday into Monday morning, another storm cluster risk. Guys, we are getting into, and I want to make sure this is very clear, into the weekend, into early next week, a pattern with consistent northwest moisture risks over top of the ridge. It's called the ring of fire pattern. And I think we are going to be talking about quite a bit of rain and an increasing chance for excessive rainfall. This is not a dry pattern as we go deeper into the weekend into next week here. So we need to take advantage of these dry days here in the short term while we can because the pattern as we go ahead is quite active as we go forward. Let us know what questions you guys have. Otherwise, have a wonderful and blessed Tuesday.